The Zero Squad, the last line of defense for not only the Soul Society, but for the entire Bleach universe. It is said that the Zero Squad is even stronger than the Gotei 13. Each member of this squad has contributed to the foundation of the universe and the Soul Society. Without the Zero Squad, the Soul Society as we know it today would simply not exist. They are quite literally the bodyguards of God himself. Ichibe Hiyosube, leader of the Zero Squad and the creator of all names. Owner of everything and anything black in the universe. Oetsu Nemaya, aka God of the Sword, creator of the Zanpakuto. Kiryo Hikifune, creator of the Artificial Soul and the Artificial Soul Pill. Also former captain of Squad 12. Sanjumaru Shutara, the Great Weaver, creator of the Oaken infused clothing and possibly the creator of the current Shinigami uniform. Has the ability to manipulate any and all clothing. And finally, Tenjiro Kirinji, the Hot Spring Demon, creator of the Healing Hot Springs, capable of healing those on the brink of death. Suppose taught Retsu Unohana most of what she knows now. This is the Zero Squad, the backbone and the foundation of the universe. But as most manga readers know, this is what we were told, not exactly what was displayed. I mean, yeah, you could tell these guys meant business, but you would expect this squad, the squad that was hyped up to be the most dangerous and important, to at least put up a decent fight against Yuha's of Vandenreich. Instead, they got washed and that was it. They came in, helped a little bit with the royal training, fought, and then they died. Now, while it is true that they all died, that wasn't the whole story. During the last arc of Bleach, the Thousand Year Blood War, Ichibe Hiyosube is obliterated in his fight against Yuha. Limbs and organs are splattered everywhere. We don't really expect anyone to come back from that, but Ichibe is the creator of names after all. After his name is said, he is completely put back together, good as new. It's like nothing ever happened. Now, Ichibe is fine, but what about the rest of the Squad Zero? Are they permanently gone? That's what it seemed like after the manga concluded. We were left with only only Ichibe as a surviving member of Squad Zero, and that lasted until Can't Fear Your Own World, the canon Bleach light novel. It told us what the rest of the Squad Zero's fate was. After establishing the new Soul King in the Soul King's Palace, Ichibe tells Shunsui that it is time to give the rest of Squad Zero a wake-up call. Shunsui Kyoriko, who heard of Squad Zero's defeat, was left puzzled. He knew that the rest of Squad Zero was killed. What did Ichibe mean by wake-up call? Now here is where Squad Zero's immortality is revealed. Because each member fused with the Oaken and pretty much have the Oaken as their own bones, they are linked. Linked to the Zero Raiden. If you recall, each member of Squad Zero has their own palace. As long as that palace remains and there is at least one member of Squad Zero to call their name, the other can be revived. And I say immortality because Ichibe himself can't really die. In a situation where all the members are killed, the one that is more than likely to survive and call their names is Ichibe Hyosube. Ichibe himself states that this is the fate of Squad Zero. He will never let them die. As long as there is a Soul King enshrined in the Soul King's palace, every member of Squad Zero still has a role to fulfill. And they all have one thing in common, and that is to protect the Soul King and make sure the balance of worlds is maintained. What did you think about Squad Zero's immortality? Many people weren't satisfied with their involvement in the manga, so I wonder if this solution brought to us by the light novel made it any better for you. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. But anyways guys, that is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to drop a sub and also drop a like to this video if you did like the video. And shout out to the captains of the channel. They have been supporting me financially through this journey and I wouldn't be able to make content without them. So again, thank you to all the captains of the channel. You guys are awesome. But anyways guys, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'm out y'all. Peace.